In the first Ebola vaccine trial in Guinea, there was no control group that was not given the vaccine, even though most scientific studies have such a group. The focus in Guinea was on saving lives. That's why an animal study by the U.S. National Institutes of Health is so important. It showed that a vaccine that is essentially the vaccine that was used in the trial in Guinea um, not only was able to protect in an experimental model in animals from seven days prior to exposure protected 100 percent and three days prior to exposure was partially affected. Dr. Fauci says the study shows the vaccine would still be effective late in the course of an outbreak when people would need it most. The other thing that was important is that it was able to protect against the multiple variants of the Ebola virus that's circulating. There are variations for each of the four strains of Ebola virus. This vaccine protects against the Zaire strain of Ebola that has killed more than 11,000 people in West Africa. The outbreak has not ended, and more people are likely to be infected. Yet so few people have the disease that human trials of other Ebola vaccines have stopped. But research on Ebola vaccines is not likely to stop. All of us in the public health sector believe that there will be other Ebola outbreaks, and that's the reason why we need to be prepared if we had an effective vaccine available to deploy in the very beginning of this outbreak in West Africa, we likely would have saved a lot of suffering, disease, and death. There have been 24 outbreaks of Ebola in Africa, none as devastating as this current one. And hopefully, with an effective vaccine, there will never be another one like it. Carol Pearson, VOA News, Washington.